This is Kieran Gibbons for Seconds Out. I'm delighted to be joined by, and I shouldn't be saying this, former world champion Joe Cordina. Um, how annoying do you find it when people refer to you as a former world champion? Because it, it doesn't feel right to call you a former world champion. Yeah, it don't, it just don't sound right either, but um, it's what it is, isn't it? It's, it was a bit of politics to do it all. Um, but yeah, I never lost my title in a ring, so as it stands, I've seen myself as a world champion. I got the competence as a world champion, and um, I just got to go back out there and get my belt back. That's all. That's all that's missing. But I got one, and the proper one. It sat on top of my um, my media wall, but I'll uh, take another one on Saturday. So uh, after Saturday night, um, will you call yourself a two-time world champion? For sure, for sure. I'm signing everything as a, a world champion, IBF world champion. So I'm a two-time world champion then. And. Uh, when you got stripped your title, obviously, understandably, you were really annoyed and seemed quite angry with a lot of people. I mean, are those um, those feelings gone now, or is the fire still there? Do you still feel annoyed at what happened to you, with the way you were treated? Nah, I'm, um, I made peace with it after a couple of weeks. It was just hard the first couple of weeks. I worked my whole life to get to that point. But after that, I'm, this is what it is, isn't it? And uh, what's your training camp been like for this, uh, for this fight? I, I presume um, what happened has given you more dedication and more direction? Nah, not for what happened. I, I got that anyway. I've had that since the day I put on the gloves. Um, and I got three kids I got to look after and provide for. So when it gets tough, they're my motivation. Um, but this t this camp has been hard. It's, I've been in camp 16 weeks. In the middle, Tony pulled me back a week, let me have a week off, completely doing nothing. So that was um, that was always a good um, a good thing. But it's been tough. And there's a few times in this camp I've asked to ask myself a few questions and I answered them and then we moved on but it has been tough and it's put me in good stead for Saturday night. So Saturday night you're facing Rakimov, um, what can you tell the viewers about him, what's his strengths and weaknesses? He's strong, he's tough um, and he's durable, he comes to fight, I'm not going to have to go look for him so yeah, he is, he's a tough fighter and a good fighter, he's a world champion at the end of the day but I believe I just got that little bit more, um, that little bit more class uh, about me in in the boxing terms. So, yeah, um, I believe I come out victorious on Saturday. And uh, when he beat uh, Barrett in his last fight, you were there ringside. You, you went up to the, the the ring apron and you were talking to each other or shouting to each other. Maybe what, what were you saying to each other? I just told him I fuck him up. But um, nah, listen, it's all that little bit of. A um, little bit of back and forth, and it? it's not. It's it's just fucking more like bravado shit. But when it comes down to it, beforehand and afterhand, like I'm one of these. I don't shout off in between uh, before the fight or after the fight. It's just the fight is business. It's business. I'm I'm just one of them. It, I'm happy go lucky guy, and and that's what it is. But yeah, it's it don't really um it don't really bother me all that shit. And uh, we've got a crowd building here for the media workout. I mean, what's the reception been like from your fans and the, the Cardiff in general for this fight? Oh, yeah, it'd be mad. It'd be mad. I got a little surprise as well for the entrance. But, um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow the roof off. And uh, you mentioned your trainer there, Tony. I mean, how important has he been for you in this camp? Oh, it's amazing. Do you know, it's not, only, not only is he uh, a good friend of mine, he's like, a, he's like family. He's my trainer, my coach. Anything I need outside of boxing, he's there for me as well. So he's always good to he's always good to be around. He's positive, um, and his boxing his boxing knowledge is second to none. And I believe he's he's one of the best um, trainers in the world. And uh, I know they say you shouldn't look past the fight, but I know you've mentioned that you'd like to fight in the Cardiff City Stadium, somewhere down the line. I mean, in an ideal world, who would that opponent be against? Unification. Uh, Obviously, when Shakur was at a weight and a roundabout weight, but he's on to, he's at, uh, up at weight now and he's moving on to big things. He's obviously, he beat um, his opponent a couple weeks, well, last week, and now he's looking to um, grab the titles at lightweight. So I think that's a bit out of reach now. Um, but I just want to unify. I want to get my belt back and get some other belts and make some fucking serious money. Um, I have got a long left in the sport. Don't, I'm nowhere, nowhere near finished. But at the same time, I know time's ticking and time's getting on and I need to make um, some big money. And uh, in your head, have you got a set number of fights you'd like to have? Um, well, with how I'm fighting, maybe two, three, two, three times a year at the minute. Um, I'd like another six, seven fights. 
five, six, seven, anywhere. Like, as long as they're, they're good money fights, big fights, I'm happy. I get a 21, 22 and 0. I'm happy the ball. Okay, Joe, uh, thanks for speaking to me and uh, good luck on Saturday night, mate. And when you become once again world champion.